Might as well grasp the chance by the balls. Hello everyone and welcome to my Boku no Hero Academia um, live reaction and review. Now you're probably wondering, Zaydam, it's been a while since we've seen that. <laughs> why are you starting and, and, and now? Or what made you stop to begin with? The, the reason why I stopped, uh, I'm keeping to myself. I mean, yeah. I have my own reason and... Um, at the same time, it's a childish one, and at the same time, it's a... Uh, well, to me, it's a valid one. Especially when <laughs> it breaks your spirit, kind of. But anyway, um... I decided I'd like to get back into it, and, um, yeah, um, I'll be posting... Well, actually, you'll find out later, um... Hold on, chapters... Five, uh, well, whichever chapters I have available, and I have post re recorded this in the wrong folder <laughs> that I, I reminded myself. Oh shit! So yeah, my memory on this is a little bit scarce. I know about the quirks, I know about All Might, I know about oh, I never remembered his name to begin with. Um, I know that um, they've got their suits, the heroes. Um, I know about the potential. Well, I'm on about what. <laughs> what I remember, I don't know anything in the future. <laughs> I know about... Well, this was him to begin... Oh, yeah, that's the Grenade Boy. Yeah, I've nicknamed him. The um, Bully. I know about... Um... Well, when I say that, if that proves true, then... Yeah. Well, it's obvious to begin with. Hmm. Potential mini-antagonist. There we are. I know that he's going to probably be a mini-antagonist in... Uh... An event or fight to come, isn't it? Mm. I don't know if that. Mm. But anyway, um, if from whatever chapter that uh, my th I think I recorded chapter seven, I could be wrong. But I know I read chapter seven because I had to double check, and when I saw them all have their suits, I was like, oh, yep, okay. So yeah, um, I'll be beginning. Um, however, chapters I do is up to me in, in bulk in this episode. So I'm gonna do a live reaction to say. 8, 9, and 10, and then review afterwards them as whole, and um, I won't, um, I'll just give my thoughts, it'll just be like a quick one rundown, since I can't really, um, you know, and from the looks of this, I probably won't even remember the information that um, Figma Boy is going to say, but oh well, let's, let's, <laughs> let's just start, back to the Boku no Academy, I uh, can't even call it greatness at the moment, the costumes... Sub CEO. Before entering the academy, one is asked to send in a report on their quirk and body specs, right? Affiliated company attached to the school then takes that information and makes their ideal costumes. It's a smooth system. Oh. Detailing specific requests is accepted, and so their state of art of the art costumes are crafted. Okay. Problem is I'm registered as no quirk. How are you registered as no quirk? How you were you accepted with no quirk? Wait, hold on. D did you enter at the time with no quirk? Before the training? I actually remember a lot. Now that I think about it. Probably. What should I do? Oh, your quirk registration. You can update it. Really? Oh, thank you, all might. You know how they assess and register everyone's quirks during their first year at elementary and middle school? Every once in a while, they'll accept updates to their records. Take the example of a quirk which was originally thought to be something like shooting water from within one's body, but then was actually discovered to be drawing moisture from the surrounding air. It's like that. As long as the revision isn't too out there, what does that mean? Then it'll be accepted as... It'll be accepted, and since you're down as no quirk anyway it should probably well I don't know why he's saying this since <laughs> they've covered those words feck off right now don't be a bitch on the loading cause you usually do this to me uh, one moment yes yeah, just our website okay um, I have moved <laughs> I'm home probably actually more like debt what ah I dropped the call without thinking. Gotta apologize for him later. You dare put the phone on the great all night. Hey, mum. Izuku. 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 Did I say that first? Right. <laughs> I've got something for you. Let's celebrate your new school life. I may be jumping the gun, but a jumpsuit. What? 
It probably won't look very cool. But I caught you having fallen asleep from intense study and my eyes happened to fall on your notes. Eh? Back then I I said something I shouldn't have and I feel awful about it now. Oh yeah, that w oh yeah, when he was a kid. Well, he's a kid now, but you know, way, way younger. I'm ashamed I gave up on you so easily, yet you kept chasing after your dreams, never giving up. I'm sorry, Izuku. Oh! Nothing like proving! <laughs> what in God's name is that abomination? I hope that isn't the final suit. No offense to the mother, but... Mm, it, it doesn't suit him. From now on, I promise to cheer you on with... Arms flailing. <laughs> she looks so sincere. It it's quite heartening. This costume holds within it mum's heart and feelings. No matter what trouble they find themselves in, he saves everyone with a smile. It's not hyper efficient or state of the art, but that suits me fine. You're a mega cool hero. I'm proud to wear this as my costume. Well, wait, I thought you had a costume. Well, I don't remember seeing you. The only thing I remember... Oh! At the time I said that. Uh, that, that. Hmm, where is he? Where's Fastboy? Is that him? The arm, if that's him, the armor looks a little bit different because last time it looked a little bit like in Kershaw and I'm probably going to get flayed for saying that. Let's see what you're made of, you embryos! Oh, hello, we got Alchemist here, my boy! My boy! It's time for the trial of battle. Yes, I'm easily pleased. Frosty, Frosty of a fucking nerd. Okay. Ah, Deku. Oh, stop with the first name and last name thing. Just choose something! Oh, he looks like Incursio with that, from that angle. Cool costume. It looks really practical. Uruk Urukha, well, I wish I'd draw my request sketch a little better. My costume came out a bit puffy. It's embarrassing. Really? It looks nice. I mean, if that was from the, um... If, if that was given birth from your drawing, I want your drawing skills. <laughs> Heroics is the greatest. What in God's name are you wearing? I'm liking everyone's style. Very cool. <laughs> um, a bit transparent. All White's trying to hold it in. Sensei, regarding the performance ground we'll be using, is it the Mock City from the entrance exam? Ah, so it's Ido in there. He's looking pretty cool in that too. You'll see, in fact. Take two steps and you'll be there. This will be an indoor battle trial. Ooh. Villain cleanup is usually seen out the out in the open, but statistically, the better part of the of it is an indoor job. Most acts of villainy are committed indoors. Really? Look, that seems a little bit strange. Imprisonment, house arrest, the black market. In this hero's uh, in this hero saturated society. <laughs> <laughs> Why any villain with intelligence is lurking in the shadows? For this test, you'll separate into villain and hero groups for a two-on-two -two team battle. Ooh. Oh, hello. What the hell? He looks like a chameleon. What about the foundational training? This is the foundational training. Only this time, there won't be any robots. It'd be okay to destroy. Oh. So how do we determine who wins and loses? Is it okay if we just blow them away? Only in a strong... Oh, I can't, I can't. Is there, any, is there a threat of expulsion like with Aizawa Sensei's exercise? If we're separating into different groups, what would be the best way to do so? Doesn't this cape look killer on me? Oh, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. What, what can you do, French boy? I think he was French. Rockets or something. Something along those lines. I mean, I know he isn't fast. I was going to say he was fast, but that's him right there. Uh, I can't hear you if you or, or speak all at once. For this training, we'll have some villains 
guard a nuclear weapon they intend on deploying, right? The heroes must stop them and their nefarious schemes before it's too late. Sounds like Golden Age superhero stuff. If the heroes capture the villains or reach the nuclear core before the time runs out, they win. If the villains manage to keep the core the whole time or capture the heroes, they win. A crib sheet? What? Your teammates and opponents will be chosen by lottery. Is that really how we'll do it? <laughs> well, pros are often forced to make impro to impromptu? I don't know, team-ups with other heroes they might not know very well. So this is probably testing that. That is true. I see. Always with our eyes on the future, are we? I apologise. Anyways, let's get this started. Team A- Ah, oh, yay! Team- B I don't know who Team B is. Team C? Team D? What a team-up! Team E? Yeah, that's a French boy. Team F, okay. Team G. Team I, one of his teammates, invisible. Team H. Oh. Wait, no. Can, can Chameleon... Do no. Have we seen her before? Use her powers because her tongue... She looks like a gecko, not... Well, she looked like a chameleon, but now with the tongue, she looks like a gecko. I think that's a gecko, anyway. I don't bloody know. Wow, we must be linked or something. Pleased to have you. Seriously, say anything. Man, speak some words. No, no, that came from me. Uh, to say something like that, you're messing with our poor boy's heart. And the first two pairs to do combat will be the following. Oh god, do I have to remember? So, Team A is the shipping. Well, I'm going to call it a ship and wars, just in case, you know. Team B, no idea, but Team D is the... Yeah, I have no idea. No idea. Um, self destruction, because they're probably going to self implode on themselves. Uh, uh, no. And Team C will be the breast team. Pair A will be heroes, and <laughs> I should have expected that. Pair D will be villains. Okay. So the mini antagonist thing starts. This scenario has the villains inside the building first. Then, after five minutes, the heroes will be let in as well. Everyone else will be able to watch what unfolds through the surveillance cameras. This will allow young leader and Bakugo to get inside the heads of villain kind. This is a practical training exercise, so go all out without any fear of injury. Though, naturally, we'll cut it short if things get out of hand. Fair enough. Oh, good gracious. Oh, good gracious. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, being on the hero villain side is obviously fitting, but... Oh, good gracious, that rape face. It may just be a training exercise, but it still pains me to be a villain. Though I suppose I just needed to, to defend this thing. It's... Whole Papla Mac, Mac, what the hell are you saying? Yo, so Deku's got himself a quirk after all, huh? What? Of course you know that. You've seen him use it, hasn't he? I swear he has. You saw it for yourself, didn't you? That. Her clean strength? It looks pretty high risk, but you'll just charge right at Midora. Oh, wait, wait, Deku was his nickname given by the girl, wasn't it? Anyway, won't you fucking hell, too many names. Were you fooling me all this time? You fucking did. Oh, God, he's paranoid as hell. He's gonna, that's gonna be the death of him. If death even occurs in this series. Well, it's early days, for me at least. <laughs> There's 40 chapters, so I suppose there might be, I don't think. Uh, I don't know. A layout map of the building. Guess we have to commit it to, <laughs> commit it to memory, my girl. It doesn't seem like there are many penalties like with Aizawa Sensei, so I'm relieved. All Might's as nice in person as his image on TV. You don't look relieved because this guy is a fucking mental case nut. Oh no, sorry, it's just my opponent is Kachan and 
Ada too. I guess I'm just really tense. I see. I remember now, it was Bakugo who keeps bullying you. I'm gonna surpass even that all might bastard as top hero. <clears throat> I mean, he says that, but like, he has the makings of a villain, literally. I hate his guts, but I also admire him. His ambition, his confidence, his strength, his quirk. He's better than me in a hundred different ways. All the same, this time, I feel I don't want to lose, if that makes sense. Of course it does. So then this must be fate. The bonds between men. Oh man, I'm sorry for blabbling on about something that has nothing to do with you. It does too. We're a team now, aren't we? Let's do our best. Okay, trial of indoor battle start. That guy looks like a chicken from behind. That same building's basement monitors. Now watch and hatch strategies of your own. Meteora, my boy. <laughs> Here you are. Just another student to me. So don't expect any favoritism. I'll grade you just as harshly as the rest. Infiltration, success. There are a lot of blind spots, so let's be careful. I still can't adjust one for all. So I can't use it for hand to hand. If I used it against someone, it'd straight up kill them. It's my base strength and Ura Kawa Zero Gravity. That's all we have in our arsenal. Right, huh? So Kara. Who's the hell is Ura Kawa? Beg pardon? Make full t is that fast guy? I thought he was fast, not gravity. Oh, I don't bloody know. Make full turns just like n those notes on battle in, in enclosed spaces. Try to remember them. A <laughs> sudden ambush! You don't say! Oh my god! No. That mask got torn off immediately. He grazed me, are you okay? Oh no! You're a car as a girl! There we are. Oh yeah! Yeah, thanks. He came like a bolt. Damn it, Deku, don't dodge me. I thought so. With me as his opponent, Kachan's priority would definitely be to beat me up. Oh god. Oh, everyone seems eager. That Baku goes a cheater. An ambush is so unmanly. <laughs> ambush is a good strategy. They are in the heat of battle, after all. Midor actually ducked away from it pretty well. Oh god, he's mental! I'll blow you away, but just short of getting this interrupted. Oh? Oh my, go on, Riku. Wow, just like an expert. What the hell did this little shit just... read me? Yeah, it looked like he did. Oh, God! God. <laughs> All nice, just like, <laughs> within the inside. Yes! Kachan, you always lead with a big right swing. I can't count how many times I've seen you do it. I analysed and took notes on all the heroes I thought were amazing, including you. The same notes you blew up and tossed away. Oh! I'm no longer the deco you equated with a worthless guppy. Oh wow, I didn't expect that word, Jesus. Now I'm... The deco whose vibes never given up! Oh! But I sort of like the name Deku for you. It gives off a vibe of never giving up. Good. I won't let you hurt him anymore. You used to piss your pants before me. I see how it is now. Damn you, bucko. He's just up and flew out of sight. What's up with that, guys? Seriously. Now I'm really pissed. Oh my god. Let's get to chapter 9 immediately. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're not stopping. We're not stopping for... Oh, my. That redness is a little bit blinding. Not going to... Is it on all of them? No. Right. What a strange colour. Our, our houses were in the same neighbourhood. So, Kachan and I were childhood friends. Ah! So, it was him. Oh, my. Oh, shite. There we are. Um, Kachan was the boy commander, the invisible rogue who... Ah, there's a fat guy with the wings. I knew it was him. The invisible rogue who could 
do anything he, if he just did it. Let's go. Murder those villains. Putting aside right and wrong, I was simply impressed with how full of confidence he was and admired him from the rear. But after his quirk manifested, it all took a turn for the worse. Oh my. I know that people aren't equal from birth. I knew even when I was four. The truth everyone in society knows. If who he knows who only ridicules and weak. Okay. Nah, I'm really. T oh my. Hey, Baku. Baku, go. Tell me what's going on. What's happening? Shut up and keep guarding. I'm really fucking pissed right now. You think? Look at that. He's just ready. He's just on the prowl. He's just got those hands extended and just like spread those butt cheeks. <laughs> when did I ask you how you were feeling? Hey, he hung up on me. Why that little? I ain't got time for no encourage. Oh. What is he saying? There's no sound through the surveillance footage. Teammates can communicate through wireless transceivers. And they all have a r rough sketch of the building. And then there's this capture tape. The second someone's wrapped this around their opponent, that's the sign they're captured. The time limit is 50 minutes, and the heroes don't know exactly where the core is being held, right? Yes. The hero side is at a pretty heavy disadvantage in this scenario. Didn't Aizawa teach you kids our motto? Say it with me now. I, well, <laughs> I don't remember it, but French boy here. Ah, Monsieur Bakugo. <laughs> Boom. Shut up, cheer. Ukawa, go on without... Oh. Alright, there we are. You don't have many margin to look away. Oh, what? what's that there? Oh, is that the cat? That's the capture tape. Don't be enough to hold him. Proof of cap. How is that co proof of capture? I mean, there's hardly around him. Notebook number ten, page eighteen. I can visualize it. Wow, he's got photographic memory. Cheeky bastard. What he'll, what he'll do next? If I know Kachan, he'll start getting hasty. Shit. And here comes the right swing. Oh. Look at him go. He hasn't used his quirk once, but he's still going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the kid who got first place in the entrance exam. He's impressively, impressively quick on his feet. You think? The boy has <coughs> jotted these down for who knows how many years. Oh, yeah. His head must be swimming with tons of accumulated hero otaku knowledge. I got him. You can become a hero. All this time, All Might's been pushing me forward, and now I feel vindicated. That being said, the rest won't be so easy. I need to come up with a plan. Oh, he's dashing off. Get back here. Daku. <laughs> Yo, where are you? You tricked me, didn't you? Were you having a laugh all this time? Probably. Well, your quirk is actually pretty damn flashy, ain't it? Why don't you get... Why don't you use it? I was going to say get used to it, since mine is even stronger. Damn, that kid's pissed. It's scary. Young Bakugo has heard the pourings of young Midiora's heart, and yet he's still full of confidence. His head is bloated beyond all reason. I see, I see. He is laughing. As expected, he's totally disregarding... Urukara and focusing on me. Uh, any decent strategy on their part would have sent Idia as the vanguard, if at all. He would have had the speed advantage in that state of affairs, and he must know that. This is no predetermined strategy the two of them cooked up. This is Kachan's blind rage, pure and simple, which means our opponents aren't in accordance at the moment. Oh, Grace, what is that? Oh, demons of them. <laughs> if they had struck together and attacked us head on from the start as a united front, then our chances of winning would have been the slimmest. If I'd gone with Urukawa, it would have become that worst case scenario. And if we both fought Karchan here, then it would have most likely run. Then we would have most likely run out of time. This is the best for us. 
Now it's just down to whether Okara can successfully reach the core. This might as well be a two versus one. It's our win. That's based on the assumption I'll beat Karchan, of course. But I think I can do it. I just need to pl pay close attention to his palms. I mean, that's the problem. At the same time, that did sound cocky, but at the same time, he's like, you know, reeling in his cockiness, because that's the problem with analysis characters, especially with antagonists, because, of course, like, their analysis is always their downfall, on occasion, unless, you know, they're the main antagonist, but if, you know, they're, anta they're an antagonist there, and, you know, for the sake of fighting, etc., etc., then, obviously, it is their downfall. It's a common thing. But, obviously, he's an, an, an antagonist, but he is a hero, and at the moment, well, he's the protagonist, and so far, while he has, you know, had hardships at this point, I don't think at the moment there is a need for a learning loss, because he could win. Uh, I don't doubt that, especially with what his analysis has said, and, and since he's not acting arrogant, or being arrogant rather, then I don't see why he shouldn't win. Where does a quirkless loser like you get off putting himself on the same level as me? I'm not trying to compete with you or anything, honest. I forgot to tell you, Kajan. But I take that back. Oh my. You can't stop me. I'm headed to Yui. I'm the Deku whose vibe is never giving up. Izuku, you really can't do anything, can you? Oh? You can read the... Inuzuku's name is Deku, the kanji, okay. Well, Kajan, you can really read. What? Oh, really read? Already read? Jesus, wh why did I... <laughs> what was going through my head? What, you can't? From now on, a Deku is a person who's totally useless at everything. <laughs> Stop it. Wow, Kajan, you're so smart. Why don't they know anything? Wow, Kajan, how many times did it skip? Seven times. What about... Yours, Deku. Zero. Why can't he do anything? Wow, that's a fantastic quirk. It's flashy enough for a hero's work. Katsuku. Oh, I get it now. I'm just awesome and everyone else isn't. Oh, God, arrogance. He's definitely going to lose. Your quirk is so cool, Kachan. I wonder when mine will come in. Whatever quirk you'll get, it'll never measure up to mine. He's just a pebble. Oh my. He said he doesn't have a quirk, eh? It's called quirkless. So lame. Deco is the least amazing of all. Oh, there's Wing Boy. Uh, oh, Kachin fell in. Hey, are you okay? Of course not. He probably can't even swim. Ah, uh, he'll be alright. He's tough. Don't keep us waiting. Oh, never mind. It wasn't even, sh uh, it wasn't even deep, it was shallow. It was... I was totally fine. Yeah, it was nothing. There wasn't even a scratch on me. But, of course, Izuku, being as he is, are you okay? You can get up. If you hit your head, that'd be bad. Don't look at me with that expression. Well, an expression of worry and concern? Your eyes were pleading for help. What? Those eyes don't look like they are. Those eyes do. I am above you. Found you. Now I just need to stay hidden until Deku arrives. Huh. Mako go is naturally rotten, but that actually hits the mark for this exercise. Hmm. Following that train of thought, I ought to act more like a villain as well. Yes. This too is simply another trial to become a splendid man worthy of the Idia family name. Put yourself in the villain's shoes. We <laughs> reave thyself in pitch in pitchest black. I am now quite evil. He's so earnest. Oh shit. Huh? So you came with a car. I know you'd come here alone as soon as Bakugo bolted off. Yours is the quirk that can cause whatever you touch to float. With that in mind, I move the counter you. I move to counter you by giving this floor a f for a cleaning. What? Now there will be no little tricks you can try. You've made an error in your calculations, hero. It looks spick and span. 
What does cleaning have to do with... So there was no debris, is that what you were saying? But surely she can lift up the nuke. To avoid getting re read by me against, he led with a kick. He's caught on. I won't be getting under his guard again. I need to think of a plan. Deku, Urukawa, what's up? I've got discovered by Idia. Sorry. Now he's edging closer. <laughs> Where are you? I don't want to take my gloves off on her, but... The middle room on the fifth floor. She's almost right above me. Oh, use your quirk to break through the... Um... Floor. It's all in your case, ceiling. We don't have that much time left, and if time runs out, it's a win. This is the one place... This is the one place I definitely don't want to lose. It's ready. What's ready? Why won't you use it? Are you looking down on me, Deku? Karchan. Oh god, no choice. I can do it. I know I can. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I already know about all of your stalking, you know. Stalking? What? Yeah, I'm confused. Oh god, how many pages are there? Twenty-three! My explosions are sparked by the sweat of my palms, which is like stretching nitroglycerine that then detonates. I can say nitroglycerine with ease, but any other words? <laughs> it's like the well, these kinds of words. <laughs> oh, feck. What? What the hell? Hold on a minute. Andros, they be thinking that I'm Golden Voider. What is this bullshit? Oh, I, sh I actually should have typed. Oh, I'll just leave her. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, for those that. Well, actually. Oh, be right back. Uh, right then. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Now, if the specs are as I asked, then I can store that nitro sweat into the braces and. No, could it be? Boku go, my boy, stop this. You'll kill him. If it doesn't hit him, he won't die. Oh, my. Oh my sweet Jesus, if... Never mind him dying, if that nuke was real, <laughs> it would be fucked. What? This is meant to be a lesson. Midiora. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Use your quirk, Deku. I'm gonna break you at your full strength. The, warp, the warped genius. Deku's in a desperate counter. Corner, rather. Gak... Bakugo's... Bakugo Kiko's quirk explosion comes in the form of sweat from his palms that, similar to nitroglycerin, can be made to detonate. Didn't know that. The more and more he sweats, the more powerful the, exp the explosion. I see. Oh, you bastard. Right, I'm continuing. Okay. Victory conditions for the hero team. A, captured the villain. T... Or B, retrieve the stolen nuclear core. Oh, it's not. A, I don't fucking know. Bombs work. Victory conditions for the villain team A, hold on to the core until time limits pass or capture the hero team. What the? Is that Baku? Is that Bakugo? What the hell is he playing at? Why did I stop reading this? Well, I remember, but still. <laughs> this is awesome. What well, if hero. If the hero team retrieves the core, they win. No, you don't. And simply touching the core is enough to count as retrieval. You can make yourself float too. Skills release. It takes a toll on my body, but how do you like my special move? How do you like me now? Oh. Oh my. Does that suit increase his strength? As long as you can't touch me, you're no threat to me. So I'll just hold out like this for all the time I need. Uh, I can't let Deku down. He's doing his best out there. Let the only team... The only ones I... F well, no weak links on the team. That is a given. Whether it, that's it for everyone remains to be seen. Because I think they've set up the teams in accordance to who makes who better. Like, in this case, I think it's Izuku who makes Urakara better, and while that is being shown, to a degree, of course, and in 
Team B's situation. I think it's Team B. Nothing to Team D. Well, in the villains team, in this case, who, um, what should happen is that um, what the fuck's his name? Speed Boy makes um, Baku go better. Well, should have, but obviously that doesn't work. And I mean, I think that's how they um, styled the teams. Well, actually, it was a lottery. What am I saying? I think the author did it. <laughs> if it was based off, you know, like it wasn't a lottery, then yeah, that would have been sound. But I think the author did it rather instead. Uh, well, isn't this fantastic? What's wrong, Deku? Come at me, bro. You can still fight, can't you? Explosion. That was more like an eruption. He must have requested a suit that would increase his range. What's the situation, Urakawa? You've got quite some nerve ignoring me. Sensei, please put a stop to this. That Bakugos kid gone mental at this rate. He's gonna kill him. No. I just need to keep blowing you back. You won't die if you if I don't hit him hit you directly. Only all might can hear them. An odd part of him is totally calm. I don't know if he's really all that petty, but in any case, Bakugo, my boy, if you shoot another blast like that, I'll end this exercise forcibly and you will lose. Launching an attack with such an extensive damage radius while indoors defeats the purpose of protecting your stronghold. It doesn't matter if you're a hero or a villain. That was just foolish. Once more and uh, you'll earn yourself massive de demerits. As a teacher, I should end this s s scuffle now. However, ah, fuck it. <laughs> the pillar by the window. Roger that. Let's just throw some punches. It's no use. I can't dodge. I've got time. The counter attack just right. Now, oh my. Oh, ah, oh shit. That ooh. He deliberately missile. Misled his opponent and used his explosion ability to redirect his mid-air trajectory to his advantage. You wouldn't think him the clever type looking at him, but those were some subtle motor skills. Launching a telling blow while resisting in a in a re re in I was going to say interior, but I don't know that word. At the same time, means he must be able to adjust his explosion power very finely. Can't say I like him, but if the kid's got talent, the kid's got talent. Oh, God. Here it comes. Your beloved right swing. Eat this. Oh, shit. I take back the winning. I think he's going to lose. De oh, Deco, you are beneath me. Shit. Bakugo's going all... Jesus! He's not going to leave me at any any time to strategize. I should have known. He's just too strong for me. No choice now. I've got to use it. This is nothing more than naked bullying. If you rewind the tape, it's beyond clear. He's already been captured. This is not the behavior of a hero in the making. I thought Midoriya, Midoriya actually hit above his weight, but... There's no denying it. When it comes to battle sense, Bakugo is a beast. He's running away. Not terribly manly, but I do the same. Something's a bit off, though. Why won't you use your goddamn quirk already? You looking down on me? Ever since we were little kids, you've always been like that. That's not it. You looking down on me? Fuck face, huh? I should stop this, but I don't want to end it for them. Kachan, it's because you're amazing and that I want to win. Ah, uh, but I don't think it'll get through to him. I want to win and surpass you. How do you not get that dumbass? <laughs> Put aside heroics for now. This is the first time they've shown each other their f real fury. Knock that expression off, you fucking nerd face. Man, Bakugos really won't let it go, huh? This is a necessary battle for the future. He envisioned for himself. Oh God. 
Detroit. Detroit. That's this. Yeah, Detroit. Oh God. Sensei, enough's enough already. Sensei, attention. Both trains. The match is. Sus oh God. I'm Hiro Okawa. What? Huh? Okay. What? In a one-on-one -on -one fight, there is no way I can win, but... He broke for the wall, didn't he? But, but what, what? What's going on here? It looks like he hit him! Hold on, go back. Look how I'm... I think he did hit him. Did he? Huh? The building's coming down. Sorry, Ida. Here's my new... Improvise super move. Oh, yes! This is glorious! Home run comet wing. <laughs> oh! You call that a home run? Oh, Jesus. Go on, Urukara. <gasps> you telling me that from the very beginning? I knew it. You are looking down on me. I wasn't planning on using it because I actually can't. My body isn't able to take the strain from this quirk. Aizawa sensei told me to, but I. This was the only thing I could think of. Oh, Jesus. Used it as a defense. Well, it wasn't a grid, the greatest of defense, but at least he's still standing. Retrieved it at the core! <gasps> they laid grasp to sweet, sweet victory. The heroes. The hero team wins. Oh, wow. I need to keep reading! I need to keep reading! Oh uh, wait oh. Ten point five. Oh, okay, I'll just read this. The new scene hero the demographics appeared in channel. Oh it's that giant lady. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Bakuko starting line. Okay, right. Okay, welcome to the review section. Um, now, I'm going to say this. If I don't remember much, I'm sorry. So, what? I started off with chapter 8. Now, let's just do a quick skim. Right. Okay. So, Izuku got his new suit from his mother. Um, it was basically, the suit was basically him wearing it. And, well, looking past its weirdness. Well, he didn't think it was weird, but, yeah. It was basically the faith that someone else had within him, even though his mother didn't really have faith in him to begin with. But to know that his, well, fa a family member now has faith with him, he's going to feel, you know, on top. And, well, for me, <laughs> when you're proving the parent wrong, it's, it's glorious. So, yeah. The, um, the student's walls... Um, split into groups of two, um, from A to H. Now, I don't, if we see the other teams working, that will remain to be seen. Um, and it was all done by a, um, lottery. Um, the villains being Bakugo and, um, Quick Boy, and the heroes being Izuku and Urakawa. Now, um, the battle, this test, to basically sum it up, it was basically a battle of, um, in essence, inspiration. Now, from a kid, from a kid, um, uh, Iz Izuku was with, um, Bakugo, and to me, what we saw in chapter one, I believe it was chapter, yeah, chapter one, where he was being bullied at him to begin with, um, you know, as a kid, um, I think he still stayed with him even even then because he inspired him, and that is in itself a little bit strange because the kid is arrogant, and I'm not gonna lie, he's another twat. Although I think he has somewhat matured, but at the same time, he hasn't really, sh as far as I remember, he hasn't really showed that much arrogance. Just only to deck at Izuku and I think that he's focusing all of his hatred on him because he looked at him what he thought was um was 
Izuku looking down upon him. Now, to be perfectly honest, to me, that's a little bit strange. I was going to say oxymoron, but I don't think that would be worded right. But either way, that seems strange. For someone of his character, who thinks he's the best at everything, and is being praised by everyone, because I think that was a big factor into it, not going to lie. To him, the thing that someone is looking down upon him is a little bit strange. Now, to me, I think that... Um, he is the... He's a kid. Well, he was a... Ch well, he is still. He is the son of... Um, a hero or a heroine. Um, and he's trying to live up or surpass them or, well, live up to their expectations. I believe that. This is like my little theory on him now. I'm trying to give him some justification because from the way he was acting, like his character, like the way he's been set up, it, it, it all seems strange to me. Like, his confidence in his abilities, his arrogance, everything. For one powerless kid that he knew that had no quirk up until this point to have riled him up is strange to me. Now, to me, the eyes that he, he was obviously mistaken and for, um, let's say, his parents. Again, this is a theory. Um, like, they were looking down upon him for his powers or something. I don't really know the details, but to be confident on one side and then to, well, and arrogant, and then to be literally, because he was broken down just from Izuku's looks is kind of strange. So, yeah. And I think that there's a little bit, there's more to him than meets the eye. I mean, there's probably some justification to, you know, his character. Probably not, but I'm hoping at least. Now, the fight. Let's face it, Bakugo dug his own grave. From beginning to end, um, Izuku was using his knowledge of him against him. Granted, he didn't have that much knowledge on him. Because of the suits new, because of the suits enhancements on his uh, on his quirks powers, but still he played him like a bloody flute. He used his anger against him. He used the knowledge that um, he accumulated through growing up with him and seeing what he can do against him, and he knew that he couldn't defeat him in a one-on-one -on -one fight, whether or not his um quirk that. Well, I think his quirk comes into play because at the end of the day, he said himself he could possibly kill him. But, yeah. Um, the quirk, let's say the quirk, well, yeah, the quirk, let's say the quirk is in there. Um, to say that, um, to me, while Azuku is a researcher and an examiner, examiner, my boy, <laughs> I think that this is going to be his main skill, not fighting. I do think that he'll grow as a fighter and a warrior, undoubtedly. But I think his strongest trait will be his um, analytical skills as time progresses. Like, say, like, down the line, um, um, let's say he's in a group with he of um, these heroes. Like, let's say Uakara, Bakugo, and Fastboy in there, for example. And they're fighting a villain. Um, and, you know, um, he's fighting with them and, and you know, he's controlled his quirk at this point, let's say that. But, um, he can't win. They can't win. But, he, on the sidelines a little, he gets back and he sees, like, oh, this is the weakness. And then he's like, hey, guys, this is what you, you got to do, follow my lead, etc. I think that that is going to be his main asset to me. And, well, it does sound like it could be used as a plot device, but it's but You'll be surprised how good that such skills can come by. So yeah, um, during the fight, um, the students wanted All Might to stop, but he didn't want to stop um, the fight. But um, he said if he used that explosion power again, he would, um, you know, demerit the team and like make the heroes win. However, um, I think that. Well, no, I don't think that um, 
any f this was anything to to do with his Izuku. This was for the both of the boys. This was a growing experience for them, as he said. Well, something along those lines, yeah. But um, this wasn't for the sake of um, well, the fight up until that point after the explosion. It wasn't for the sake of the um, test at that point on. It was for the sake for those two boys for them to grow. I don't think that it had any effect on Bakugo though. As much as I as I want to like him. I just don't think that something like this could be beneficial for him. And when, um, you know, the final strike came, like, instead of attacking, he used his quirk, um, Izuku now, as a defense. And he didn't come out unscathed. He's got a lot of work to go through to get to master the quirk. But as far as his defenses go... As long as he wasn't killed by him and he remained standing, then he's got the defences um, up the snuff, but there is room for improvement, especially since he's got grazers. And with the destruction of the building, Urukawa used her powers, distracted Fastboy, and then captured the nuclear core. And, my, and I've got a... That, that was just beautiful. I mean, this is teamwork at its finest, and to see... Bakugo's face. I mean, he lost through his own doing. Whether he realizes that or not remains to be seen, but I think he has. But he'll probably find a way to blame Izuku. But that's for chapter 11. So yeah, really enjoyed the uh, the fight between these two. It was a growing experience for both of them, as well as um, Izuku's teamwork skills. Because let's face it, those two worked in sync even when they weren't to get well obviously they had the comms but they worked in sync and played their opponents like a flute <laughs> i just did a violin gesture then what the fuck it's a good job i don't have face cap you'd just be laughing right now <laughs> probably so yeah really enjoyed um these chapters i will see you for chapter 11 onwards so yeah